Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. And today, here at Stately Vaughn Manor, we have a tag for you for Tuesday. Yes, it is Tag Tuesday once again, and I have been tagged. And this time, I have been tagged by Lady Jane over at Lady Jane Books. As you know, when Lady Jane tags you, you do the tag because it's Lady Jane. So, the tag I have for you today is an interesting one. This is the Pain Over Joy tag. This tag was created by Aaron Facer. And let's just get right to it. Let's get to this unusual tag. Uh, first question. Do you mostly read books illustrating pain or books illustrating joy? I'm gonna go with pain on that one. Uh, most of the books I read are a little bit on the darker side, so they tend to have more pain in them than joy. And even the books that aren't on the darker side, they tend to have terrible things happening in them. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to go with pain for that answer. Uh, which figures, you know. I mean, joy is usually the thing that comes at the end of a story, if it's a story with a happy ending. First, you have to go through the pain, overcome the challenge, suffer through the misery, and then you'll get to the joy. Uh, unless it's like a lot of the books I read, like Lovecraft, where, you know, it's just all pain all the time, and you never get to the joy. At best, you end up insane. So, number two. Do you see books about pain as more intellectually valuable? Why or why not? I'm not sure I would go out on a limb and say that books about pain are more intellectually valuable. I'm not sure that that is true. I would say uh, that they are more interesting to me. Uh, I find them more intellectually stimulating than a book about joy would be, I think. But who knows? Perhaps somebody has written an intellectually stimulating book about joy or joyful book. There are probably a lot of great joyful books out there. They're just not on my shelves. So, number three, why do you think major book prizes like the Booker and the Pulitzer mainly award books about pain? Uh, because that is where the drama comes from. And prizes like that love the drama. Now, of course, lots of, uh, a lot of the books that I read are not going to end up winning either one of those prizes. Um, might win the Bram Stoker Award, but they're probably not going to win one of those prizes. Uh, probably, and it's probably the drama, you know. I'm not sure how much value I would put on awards like that. I'm not sure how much value I would put on awards at all, but that's why. It's just you can squeeze a ton of drama out of the suffering and the pain. That is where the drama comes from, I think. So... We got through those questions pretty quick. Number four, do you agree, do you use and agree with the phrase guilty pleasure? Why or why not? Why do you ask? You don't think I have any guilty pleasures, do you? No, why would I? Um, no, I don't use the phrase guilty pleasure. Everything that I read uh, is super high class, and I would never feel guilty reading anything like that. I have no guilty pleasures. I'm not sure that guilty pleasures actually exist. Um, yeah. I'm not sure that, I mean, I mean, if you enjoy something, you enjoy it. Why feel guilty about it, you know? That's my opinion. You know, yeah. I mean, mostly, you know, unless you, you're really into the Backstreet Boys or something. And then, you know, don't admit that. That's, you could feel guilty about that. But, uh, yeah, but otherwise, you know, nah, why would you feel guilty about something you read? Guilty pleasures, no such thing. Uh, let's see. Do you think books centering on joy are guilty pleasures? Uh, well, I think I answered that in the last question. If you like books about joy, why feel guilty about it? I'm sure there are one or two books out there in this world that are about joy that are good. You know, and even if they're not, who cares what other people think? 
about what you read. Don't feel guilty. Just enjoy the books you read. So now I don't think they're, they're guilty pleasures. Again, like I said, is there even such a thing as a guilty pleasure? Uh, number six, do you read in secret? Are there books you read but never talk about because of the embarrassment, shame, or guilt about liking them? <sighs> you know, here we go about the guilty pleasure thing again. That's ridiculous. Why would you feel guilty about any book that you read? I mean, that's silly. If you like a book, don't be ashamed. Just read the book. Oh, look. Uh, I don't know how this got here. Uh, Wilkins, 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 my valet. He must have left this this book, Shattered Love, by uh, Richard Chamberlain, right, lying around. He really loves Richard Chamberlain. This guy, uh, Wilkins, uh, you forgot your book. <laughs> Just leaves his stuff lying around. <laughs> Silly, that Wilkins. Um, so yeah, uh, number seven. Who do you tag? Um, I'm going to tag this just in for this tag. I'm sure he will have more well thought out answers than I have had uh, for this tag. So yes, uh, the fantastic and incredible this just in. Justin, my friend, I tag you. Justin, do you prefer joy over pain? Who knows? But yeah, I will catch you next time here at Stately Vaughn Manor. Sure, I'm glad that's over.